On this toy spot, we're going to be having a look at the Mezco Cinema of Fear, the three and three quarter inch figures. Today, we're looking at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. is one of three figures that has been released and will be released of this line. Oh, serves only as a reminder again how awesome this line could have been. Um, package wise, exact same packaging. Really exact same packaging as most Cinema Fear figures. Um, on the back of the package, the other figures, the other two figures in this wave aside from Leatherface, are the Friday 13th Part 4 Final Chapter Jason Voorhees as well as the original Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Oh, uh, Mezco. Mezco, get the, get the license back. you got to make more of these things. Um, Package-wise, though, very basic. I won't, I won't talk too much more about package. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this opened up. We will have ourselves a better look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. Stay tuned. And much like the Jason, I've got Leatherface here on his display stand. I take the display stand off. Once again, very basic. Um, I think it's slightly, yeah, the, the blood is slightly splattered differently than the Jason stand. Maybe they just lined up a bunch of these stands and just threw paint at it. Who knows? Um, again, had they continued this line longer, uh, they could have put the, the Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre logo uh, title on the actual display stand and then continue the line through. Uh, not much really to say about the display stand. In the way of his accessories, he also comes with a mallet, blood soaked mallet. And of course, Leatherface could not be complete without his bloodied chainsaw. Very nicely detailed, very nicely sculpted. Um, we'll just put the chainsaw actually down for a second, just so we can actually look at Leatherface. Um, I will say this, uh, and it might just stem from the fact that I'm not as big of a Leatherface fan as I would be, say, a Freddy fan. There's a little bit of fiber on there. Um, but I'm not as big of a fan as, as uh, Freddy and Jason, so I would say the Leatherface here is probably the weaker of the three figures. Uh, he is hunched over. Can't really fix that. Um, makes obviously sense uh, for Leatherface to be hunched over. Uh, sculpt isn't bad. There's not really a lot to be said for his mask. It, it it's just it's it's very basic. Um, they haven't applied too much paint or anything on the mask. Uh, but he's got the shirt. He's got the bloodied apron. Um, so let's put the chainsaw. Now I had the problem with the Jason figure and just the fact that his when you initially get the figures the hand is kind of sealed closed and you kind of have to just pry the hand open and kind of wedge the weapon or the uh, the accessory into it to actually get him to hold it right. Leatherface actually wasn't too bad to get the, the chainsaw in there but as you can see uh, quite heavily soaked. Uh, it's kind of funny that they've got these really, really large uh, splatters on his chainsaw. Uh, normally, those splatters would be uh, correct in size, but I guess being that it's a three and three quarter inch figure, the splats, the blood splatters, actually are a little too large on the chainsaw. But in small gripe. That's really nothing. That's nothing to complain too much about. Um, yeah, in the way of his in the way of his articulation, I might actually have to take his chainsaw off for this. Uh, his head has a full ball joint, so you can actually move the head quite quite freely. Um, he has the ball jointed shoulders. Uh, you can rotate at the bicep. You can bend the at, the elbow. You rotate the hand. Um, no real waist articulation, only because of the fact that you've got this apron in the way. Uh, the legs, though, can bend out. You can bend the knee. You can also rotate the feet. 
and that would be it. Uh, I love the Jason. Uh, I, as you watch the review, I'm sure you know I love Jason quite a bit. That I gave him a 10. Um, while I do love the scale and the articulation here on the Leatherface, um, just again because personal preference, I'm not a huge Leatherface fan, so uh, I won't rate this guy as high. I would still give him, based on scale and everything else, I'd still probably give Leatherface a 6. Um, if you were a Leatherface fan, you probably would love this figure. Wish they had done more. They, I mean, they could have done Leatherface from, uh, well, check Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 Leatherface. They could have done the suit Leatherface from Part 2. Uh, the, you know, the drag Leatherface from Next Generation. But they stopped the line, and it's so sad. It's so sad. I wish they had get this, got this back, or I wish somebody else would would be able to get the rights for all the movie licenses and had and released an entire series. Um, because I mean, I would pick this up uh, if you were if you ever downloaded the game Terror was a Terror Drome, where you could actually have all the the characters fight. Everybody loves the fact that you could get. Uh, a line just of all the iconic movie characters. Cult classics, of course, we've got that. The, the Cinema of Fear, we've gotten that. Uh, but to get a three and three quarter inch fully articulated or partially articulated in some cases, a uh, figure line of all the movie movie killers uh, would be an awesome, awesome wave. And it would be a wave I would continue to buy. Um, but I don't know. It may never ever happen, and that is the worst part about it. But Today's toy spot, needless to say, we were looking at the, the Mezco Cinema Fear. We're looking today at the three and three quarter inch Leatherface. Not a personal favorite of mine, uh, but a great set that I wish had continued on. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more toy spots and other spots to come, and I will see you guys next time.